this is TTC vlog number three on trying to conceive baby number one. Um, today I'm going to discuss Prometrium, which is a progesterone pill that I've been taking vaginally and how that's affected me, affected me what cycle day I'm on, um, any symptoms that I've been having. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, exactly a week ago, which I was supposed to make this video exactly a week ago, but it hasn't worked out that way. Um, I started taking Prometrium vaginally, which is um, progesterone basically because my progesterone levels were not being where they were supposed to. So I have to take a pill to get them, get the levels up so that I can hopefully get pregnant. It's supposed to, I know it's per important part with ovulation. Um, I believe progesterone is what helps the egg. Um, attach itself to the uterus. I'm not 100% on that, but I know I need it, and so I've been taking it for a week now, vaginally. At first I was really concerned, but honestly, besides the annoyance of having to wake up 10 extra minutes earlier than I normally do, because you have to be laying down for 5 to 10 minutes, before being able to get back up and go on about your day. Um, I haven't really had any problems, haven't had any side effects. Um, I have my husband um, insert it for me, which I know kind of sounds cheesy and R-rated, whatever, but I just, um, that's one big issue I have, is it doesn't come with an applicator. It's just a little brown pink pill that kind of looks like a smaller version of a paintball paintball a paintball and um, you're just expected to stick it up there yourself and um, one thing that I've never been good at you know even when it comes to like um, tampons like OB tampons I can't use those because I've just I've tried dozens of times I just don't think I can get them up in the vagina as high up as it's supposed to be. I've tried like a dozen times and um, just doesn't seem to work. Like you know, I can always feel it. I, so I'm more of a give me an applicator kind of gal. So since I was having issues, make, I felt like I wasn't getting the pill up there as far as I needed to. <laughs> I just told my husband Please, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, help me out by putting this one pill in me for me. So, and the only pain, the only thing I've felt like is after um, I have the pill inserted, I may feel like a little bit crampy, but not very much at all. And that's about the only side effect, if you want to call it that, that I've had with it. So I'm very happy. Because I've heard lots of tales of um, progesterone pills giving people the feeling of being drunk, very dizzy. But I think from where I am taking the vaginal kind, my symptoms are basically none. So that's good. Anyways, um, right now I am cycle day 26. Uh, my fertility doctor told me to test on the 21st. But I've been kind of too anxious, so I've been taking tests way earlier than I should. I actually took a test yesterday, and like, I think I took another test like a day or two before that. And of course they were negative, it's probably too early, or who knows. And they were also the Dollar General kind that are cheaply made and probably not that reliable. So today, after coming home from work, which is why I look so awful, is because it's seven degrees here where I live, and it's nine o'clock in the morning. Just got off of work. I had to be in by one o'clock in the morning, so very tired. But anyways, before coming home, I bought some good tests. And by good tests, I mean the clear blue. And actually, this was cheaper than the other brand I got. I also got, um, 
first response. The clear blue was on sale at Kroger's, if you guys need to know this. I think it's like on sale for $10.99. But the first response is like $15.59 right now. And I kind of thought as clear blue a little bit better than first response. Just because it's got the digital test and it's supposed to tell you how many weeks you're along. But it is on sale right now at your Kroger stores if you need some. So I'm stocked up. I've got four tests. I'm really bummed because I could have saved a dollar on my first response, but I forgot. I'm tired. I just wanted to get the heck out of there. So anyways, I'm thinking about doing a, a live pregnancy test video here in a day or two and posting that for you guys. Um, symptom wise, um, it's always hard for me to tell if I'm feeling, I mean, it's hard for everybody to tell. I would assume if you're having implantation symptoms or signs, or if it's your menstrual cycle getting ready to come. But last month, I was feeling crampy, back achy, moody, and then like the very next day or the very, at least the, no later than the very next day, I started my menstrual cycle. It started off slow, but it started, which I found out via my doctor why, most likely why I didn't get pregnant that month is because of my progesterone issues. So... This month, or this cycle, I should say, um, probably about two or three days ago, I had the same things going on with lower back pain. Pretty, I mean, not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die back pain, but pretty uncomfortable. And not a whole bunch of cramping, maybe like a little bit of cramping here and there, but nothing really major. Headache. Um, and that was all like a 24 hour thing. And I figured, here we go again. I'm going to start my menstrual cycle. But it hasn't started yet. So I'm kind of like, was it implantation that I was feeling? I can only hope. Or is it just the preamp of my menstrual cycles coming in a couple days? So. That's the hard part about trying to conceive is having to wait those three days or whatever to test and figure out if you're pregnant or if you're simply going to menstruate. I'm, I'm trying like to not get too excited like, oh my gosh, you know, my period didn't start right away like it did last month, so maybe I am pregnant. Because it seems like every time I'm getting my, like, my hopes up and it hits me really hard and I like get depressed for a good few days, you know, I do get back up on my feet and start the process all over again, but it gets repetitive and, you know, it's been five years. It's time is how I feel. It is time. God, it is time. But, I don't know. So, I think that's about all I have to talk about. If you guys have any questions, um, just get leave me a comment and I'll let you guys know. Uh, sorry, I'm like brain farting right now because I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, in a couple days, I should be starting my period, but... I'll be making another video before then um, with a live pregnancy test, and we'll see how that goes. Hope you guys have a safe and wonderful day. I love you guys, and thanks for watching.